What's up, it's your boy Trippie and welcome back to my channel. What's up, y'all? What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I just clapped in y'all face. I know that was loud. I'm sorry. Was that loud? I don't know. Okay, anyways. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm looking at the microphone and not... Okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna get this together. Okay, let's start over. Let's start over. Let's start over. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Trippie. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in because this is a video about how to edit videos, okay? So I'm gonna be making mistakes. You can probably hear Taylor in the back. Taylor, say what's up. Hey, what's up, y'all? Okay, so you, I want y'all to get the nitty gritty, okay? Because I'm going to show y'all how to edit all of this out, okay? So we're going to start over. Let's start this over, okay? I'm about to do a little transition. Swipe. So a lot of you guys requested me to do a video on how to edit videos, okay? I think you guys just really want to see how I edit my videos, okay? So in this video, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. But um, the only difference is this video is pretty much going to be the basics, okay? But not just the basic basics that, you know, kids can do. But, like, the basics of my editing, okay? So that's pretty pro for some girls no shade no shade I'm just saying okay so I'm gonna be showing you transitions I'm gonna be showing you sounds with transitions I'm gonna be showing you captions I'm gonna be showing you all of the things that you guys think is really hard but it's really not it's time-consuming but it's not hard okay so we're gonna get right into that let this title card run and uh, yeah we're, we're gonna get right into it okay? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Tariq Ali. Um, I'm about to show y'all how I edit videos. This is, of course, an old video, but this is not the video I'm going to be showing y'all what I'm editing today. I'm actually going to be showing you how I edit the video that you're watching right now. So um, it's a little bit confusing. Just don't think about it too much. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started, y'all. So first of all, I do use Final Cut Pro. You see down here, Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm gonna talk about that more in the video. So in this part of the video, I'm mainly just going to show you guys how I edit and then I'll explain more of the software stuff off of the editing part, if it makes sense. Okay, okay ignore the toothpaste, but um, yeah. Uh, so the tips that I'm giving you in this video, uh, it's not just exclusive to Final Cut Pro. The tips that I'm giving you, you can use on any software. It's way more about the style of editing and not the software itself. So please, if you're using iMovie, if you're using Final Cut Pro, Adobe, or anything else, you can still, you know, use this video with your editing style. Even if you're using a Microsoft computer or um, an Acer, anything. Okay, this you can use this video for anything. So what I do is I go to File and I go to a new project. Um, I usually title this whatever, it doesn't really matter, I, but this is about editing, so I'm just going to put editing, okay? So, um, so what I want to do is go to my finder, I'm going to go to my external drive, which is right here, it's called Big Black. <laughs> okay, so this one is the video that I'm editing today, let me see. Welcome back to my channel, what's up y'all, what's good y'all, welcome back to my Okay, so yeah, this is it. Okay, so everybody has their different preferences when it comes to editing videos. Some people love this extra space, like where there's pauses and they don't fix that. Mainly some people do that for money reasons because the longer the video, the more ads you can put. And listen, that's just tacky to me. But I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So I don't like this, like look at this beginning. You see that extra, what, one second of nothing? So what I do is I just cut that out and start. And I start, if you zoom in, you can go to the sound bar. You like you see is this is where it starts. So what I do is I bring that over over here, and I start, up, so it starts just like that. So another thing that I like to do is I add my name at the beginning of the video so people know who I am. You want people to see your name constantly. They came to your channel, they see your name. They go to the video, they see your name. You want them to see your name a lot because that is how people remember you. So when they see it again, they're like, I know that name. So what I usually do is go to an old video like this one. Okay, and go to the beginning and I get my title card. So this title card, I know you guys are a lot, a lot of y'all are wondering where I get this title card from and I'm about to explain it right now. So what I do is I come back here and I press paste. Okay, play that. What's up, it's your boy Rebellion. Welcome back to my channel. So let me just explain these titles for a quick second because I think a lot of people think that when it comes to editing, everything is from the software itself. No, so this font I got from, from DAF ont.com okay and this is where you can get a lot of free uh font that's just the font itself the actual effect if you go over here you're gonna see under titles i have a lot of you can see extra ones that do not come with the actual software these are ones that i got from somewhere else so where do i get all of my effects from because i think a lot of people think i get it from final cut pro no i don't 
where I get this from is, where is it? Pixel, yeah, here we go. Pixel Film Studios. So these effects are not free. And this is why a lot of people say they are investing in their YouTube. Like there's money that goes into this. So here's just one example. And no, I'm not paid for them, but okay, that's loud. But here's just one example. You can get things that look just like this. And you could change the words. It can be your name. It can say Tariq Ali. It can say kiss me on Friday. It can say, see, see, this is where everyone gets their effects. Okay. But um, they have so many different ones when it comes to a whole lot of different things. And you can see it's not cheap. It's $30 each. But I mean, with $30, you get a whole like package of different titles. Like you see these, this was like a whole package of different titles. So it was like $30 for like, I guess, 60 uh, different titles and different types. So this is just one of the title types that I have. Another one I like to use is Production Crate. Um, this one is a little different. Production Crate, um, you can, they do have a free option so you can get some of these for free, but then they have like, um, some of them are like premium, like where you can't get it unless you pay. So let me go to, damn girl, just give me something. I'm trying to show them. Okay. So like, these are the free ones, you know, like this would be on your video and you could put it anywhere and you know, these are free. Now I, I explain all of that with the visual effects and everything we can go back to the actual editing of the video I just wanted to really get that out the way because I think a lot of people love the effects of my videos but they don't really know why I get it another thing that I like to do when you edit um you don't want to keep it okay think about it like this when somebody sings a song if they say if they stay in the same note the entire song then it's gonna sound pretty flat or it's just not gonna sound like, it's just not gonna be versatile, like it just doesn't get your attention. So what you like to do with cinematography is different camera angles and a lot of different movies, like they'll get you from different angles. But since this is a sit and shoot, like it would just be too much to do different angles. So what people do is they change how close and far away you get from the camera. So this is something I do in my videos. This is when you get deep into the art of editing and you start to learn more, but I'm gonna show you guys because you know, I wanna show you guys something a little different. So let's play this. Okay, so that was one sentence, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, I press Command B, or you can go here and you can press the blade and you can put it right there. Um, you wanna cut it and then... Okay, so you see how I did a different tone? Boom. And then the tone ends right there. So you wanna make sure you press the clip itself, press this button and then do it like that because if you don't, it'll mess up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What's up, it's your boy Rebelli, and welcome back to my channel. What's up, y'all? What's going on? You see what I mean? I just clap for y'all. And then it brings it back. So it, it just grabs the the uh, viewer's attention, and it just it just makes the video more fun. Okay, instead of having the same thing throughout the entire video, it just makes the video more entertaining. It makes it more fun. If you want it to go like across, like I know you guys see me do this a lot, you're gonna bring this out and drag this corner right here to the edge. Okay, and you see this button right here, this like, uh, what is that, a diamond? Uh, it's added the keyframe, add a new keyframe at the playhead. I don't really know what that means, but I know how to use it. So <laughs> I'm really self-taught with a lot of these things, or you can watch YouTube videos, but what I do is you go to the beginning of this video, right? You wanna make sure it's at the beginning of this clip and make sure it's highlighted. Press this video, press the clip. You're gonna press this, so that means this is where it starts, okay? And then you wanna go down here and you wanna go to where it ends, right? But not the very end, but like right before it. And then go to it and then you wanna drag this to where you want it to end, okay? So pretty much I want it to go from this side to that side, like I want it to go in that direction. So what I'm gonna do is drag this that way. But you don't wanna go all the way because then you'll have black screen and it'll look weird. So you wanna do it so that this right here is on the edge, okay? I want, you wanna make sure this line is straight too because if not, it'll go down in a weird like way. So make sure this is straight. Okay, now take this off so you can see how it looks and let's see. Welcome back to my channel. What's up y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I just clapped and y'all. You see, so that's another thing that you can do if you wanna be creative. If not, you really don't have to. I mean, it is a bit extra, but I'm a perfectionist, so I'd just be extra. So I'm not gonna sit here and edit this entire video with y'all because 
I really take hours to do it. It usually takes one, well, I'm gonna be honest. It usually takes three or four hours, but that's because I'm a perfectionist and y'all see my videos. Like the editing is, come on now, I, I take my time. Okay, so another thing that YouTubers like to do and I like to do is we like to add music. Okay, so something that I do is I do it as simple as this. I go to YouTube, I go to, I don't know, if you want it, upbeat, upbeat, royalty free music, okay? So royalty free or copyright free or yeah, it's a copyright free, royalty free. That means you can put it on your video and you can still make money from the video. If you put like Anaconda by Nicki Minaj on your video, you won't make money because her record label will take the coins, girl. So you want to get something royalty free. Okay, and you want to check to make sure whatever song you put on your video is royalty free because you're going to be really mad if it goes viral and then you can't make thousands of dollars from the video okay so you get royalty free and then I go to online converter and then I use this to download it or if that doesn't work because sometimes she messes up go to this website right here and I use this to download it I'm not gonna be doing that because I already have a folder on my external drive where I have the music the type of music that I use really depends on the mood of the video or like my tone in the video so let me see Okay, so I want like an upbeat, happy type of song. Let me see. Hack beat. No, too slow. Um, I like that Spanish guitar one. Where is that? Let me see. Yeah, that's kind of cute. It kind of goes with it. Okay. So we're going to drag that down here. Okay. And then I'm going to put the volume down. Okay, let's see. Too loud. You want to be able to hear yourself, so down. But sometimes, if you really have to go this low, that kind of usually means that your video itself is not loud enough. So what I do is I highlight the entire clip, and then I go to volume, and I turn it up, okay? To like, past the regular, I go to like three. It just depends. Another thing I like to do with editing, because it makes moments more funny and things like that, is... Moments where it's like, um, I make a joke, I turn the music off. So like right here. So I just clap in y'all face, I know that's gonna be loud. I usually go to the music, cut it, you know, with the blade. I'm just pressing control B, I don't think you can see it. But you cut it and then you go to where the joke ends. Like, okay. Okay, so then you could put the music back right here because that's the end of the joke. But right here, like, I just clapped in y'all face. I thought that was loud. I'm sorry. I, I want to zoom in right here because I think that'll be funny. Like, if you go into my face, like, trying to look at like somebody's backstage when I'm literally the only person on set. Um, well, me and Taylor. So <laughs> it just makes it funny. I just clapped in y'all face. I thought that was loud. I'm sorry. Was that loud? I don't know. Okay. There you anyway. go. And then you see how this is both zoomed in. I want to go back to the regular so you can press this clip. And you're going to press reset and it gets it to go back. So say you zoom in too much and then you're like struggling to get it back to like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get this back perfect. Like, oh my gosh, it won't fit. Just press reset, girl. Okay. So right here, another thing that you can do is use Ken Burns. Um, Where's that at? You're going to use crop instead of transform is when you want to do like zoom in and out. Okay. Or move it around. Um, And like, you know, when you use this tool over here. Um, crop, uh, that's when you actually want to crop the video, okay? So like that, or you want to do Ken Burns. So Ken Burns is like that, this is like that, this, that other tool that I showed you that was up here, except this is like a, just a one point zoom in and out. So it's going to start here and it's going to zoom in, like, unpress this. Because this is a video about how to edit videos. Probably hear Taylor in the back, Taylor say what's up. So you see how I told Taylor to say what's up? She's over here. Like, you cannot see her in the camera, but it would make it funny if... Watch this. Hey, what's up, y'all? So she said, hey, what's up, y'all? So let me go from crop, go to transform. I'm going to zoom this in, and I'm going to go to, like, the corner of my head. Because, like, you can't see her, but it would just be funny that, you know, you're, like, zooming in over here. Like, you can hear her, like, you're getting close to her. And then I'm going to go to text. I'm going to go to a basic text, just a regular text. And I'm gonna press. Okay. 
So you're gonna say, hey, make this larger. Okay, and I wanna make this a compound clip. Make sure it's inside of the frame because if you put it over here outside of the frame, then when you make it a compound clip, it'll be outside the frame. Just do it like this. So press that button, the transform button, right? You're gonna put this over here, okay? This is where it's gonna, this is where it's gonna start and it's gonna end over here. I want it to go across the screen like that. Okay, so watch this. Okay, Did the hey already, but then I want what's up, y'all. Okay, okay, over here, press that, and then press. And then I and then I want to put what's up y'all. And I'm going to put that right under like right here. Say what's up. Hey, what's up y'all? So before I do a transition or I'm about to make a huge yeah, just before I do the transition, I sometimes like to cut the music off because then you can hear the transition better. Um so Okay. So we're going to start over. Let's start this over. Okay. I'm about to do a little transition. Swipe or is it Okay, so Let's um, let's cut it right there. Swipe. So this is where you want it to end, and then you want to go to where you wanted to pick up at. Where do I want to pick up at? Um, <laughs> so I want to pick up right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right there, and then this whole I already looked through all of this, and I didn't want any of it. But if you backspace that, if you well, if you delete that, you delete the music too. That's because I'm gonna show you. This music is connected to this clip right here. So you want to put this over here so it's connected to this clip over here. So when you delete that, see this is where you left off. Swipe. So a lot of you guys request and that's where it's going to pick up. So you want this music over here. This is the new clip that you want to detach to. So there's no transition Swipe. here. So, a lot of you guys so that means that it's just going to do a clear cut from this video Swipe. to the so next video. Over here, you see these are where the transitions are. You could do a black hole. I never use this. Swipe. So a lot of you that just you. It looks so 1998 and cheesy to me. I never use the cheesy uh, transitions. I use the same transitions. I think with your channels, you kind of want to have some sense of consistency. I think people like um like you can change some things and be innovative in some realms, but I do think most people like to see consistency and like to see like something that Tariq always does. It makes them feel at home and it makes them feel connected to your channel like they know what's gonna happen. Um, so what I do is I use the same one. If you go down here to slide, go right here. Um, okay, well, let me just show you the original. This is the original slide. Swipe, so a lot of you guys it's too slow. So what I do is I go here and I make it shorter, okay? You're gonna squeeze it in. Swipe, so a lot um, and what I do with that just the transition alone does not give me wow professional okay so with every motion you want to have a little bit of a sound because it makes it seem more realistic so what I do is if you go over here I uh, Final Cut Pro has sound effects okay they have a lot of sound effects like there are a lot of sound effects I have never even listened to every single one but if you go to swish I use swish and you see or I like this one the most. So this is going to be the sound effect for the transition. Swipe, so but you see the sound is too fast for the actual transition. Swipe, so like it doesn't seem like it goes together. So I want to make zoom in and I make this transition shorter and I put it right here to see. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Swipe, so and then you want to bring that background music back over here, but you want to bring it back right after the sound effect. You don't want it to overlap. Right, so a lot of you guys requested me to do a video on how to edit. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys uh, pretty much how I add these effects. Okay, so I, I showed you where to get them, but I didn't really show you how to use them. So I'm going to do that really quick, just a couple of them. So let's see. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things today. Okay, one of those things is going to be how to make a, I don't know, let me snap. Okay, so I want to put some type of effect that makes that snap more, I don't know, comedic or comical or something let's see let's go back to production crate i'm going to show you guys how to use this really quick no i'm not paid from them let's just put in cartoon uh 
No, I want like a zap. Like something that happens when you snap. Mm, this is cute. Download button right here. This one has a star, so that means it's premium. That means I'm paying for it and blah, 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 blah. So you're gonna save that. It comes down here. You drag this over right into Final Cut Pro. It's that simple, okay? You're gonna go back to Final Cut Pro. You're gonna put it over here where the snap is, okay? And let's zoom in, okay? And this is the zap right here. Let's look at it, okay? So we wanna put this where my finger is where I snap. So we're gonna go to this, this little zap right here, press the transform button, make it smaller, and then move it to where I snap to make it look like I have magic powers or something, okay? Snap. Now you just gotta put it to the part where you snap. Let me snap. See, see that snap? <laughs> oh, the power of three will set you free, girl, oh! You can use all these different effects and you can put them in your video in different moments and stuff like that. I was gonna show like five different ways to do it, but it's very simple. I just showed you how to do it. Okay, last but not least, I wanna show you guys some of the things that I add to my videos that like, you know, most YouTubers use, like press subscribe and everything. Once again, I get this from Production Crate. If you go to YouTube, there's lots of different places to use, like call to actions. These show you like, oh, press subscribe and do this in the right corner. You can put your Instagram up there. So I have one where I use the same one. It press like, subscribe. So I put this over here, and it's already the right size and everything. Okay, anyway, and that's how that goes up there. Um, some other things that you wanna add to your video can sometimes be like effects. If you go to window up here, and you go to workspaces and you go, wait, hold up, show in workspace, you can go to effects. And over here, like this is sometimes when YouTubers put like a camcorder effect on it, and it makes it look like that. And there's a lot of different effects up here where you can put like these bokeh, bokeh lights on them, like that. I'm gonna keep this in because this is- You know, there's a lot of different effects which you just go in here and you play with a lot of different things. When you do different clips and when you have different scenarios in your videos, you're gonna use different things. Okay, so it, it just really is about over time getting better with your editing. Like you're not gonna be as good as me on your first video. It's just not gonna happen. I have been doing videos for a while, so that's just, you're just gonna learn as you go. Okay, Final Cut Pro is $300, okay? If you wanna scam your way out of that, you can go to a nice college and get it half off like Duke or something, because uh, that's what I did. I don't go to Duke. Okay, let's not think about that too much. <laughs> I started using Final Cut Pro when I could afford to pay for it, okay? That means I started making coin off of YouTube. If you're new to YouTube and you're just getting into this editing stuff, I think that you should just start off with iMovie. That's what I used. I used to use my phone. It wasn't this one. It was a 6S, but to film and to edit on my phone, you can use an iPad. And all of the things that I show you in this video, it is going to be the basics, but with some of these things you can do on your phone and some of them you can't do on your phone, you're gonna need a desktop or a laptop. Okay. I just wanted to dead the whole idea that it is the software that makes a professional editing professional. It's all about the editor. You have to know what you're doing and how to use the resources that you have. But to give you guys some options for the editing softwares, I have used Adobe Premiere Cut. I think that's what it's called, Adobe's uh, editing software. But Adobe was a little bit too much for me only because it had so much stuff that I was never going to use. I don't use a green screen, I'm extra like, you know, like CGI, editing and I just don't use all of that extra stuff so it just had too many settings and things on the like switchboard that I was just like this is way too much so then after Adobe which also cost but I got it for free don't ask okay I didn't download it illegally but I got it from a friend um, I had Adobe it was too much for me and then I went down to Final Cut Pro um, Final Cut Pro is way easier to look at it's way easier to use and you can use a green screen if you like you can use all of these extra things but it's just way easier to the eye and when you're editing. So that's why I like Final Cut Pro. I've been using Final Cut Pro for over a year now and I don't think I'm gonna be leaving anytime soon. It works good for me. I don't like to fix anything that's not broken. So once again, let me just say, if you are just starting off, even if you have the money to buy Final Cut Pro or something like that, if you're just starting off, I would say start off with iMovie. No shade to anyone, but a lot of people start YouTubes 
and they say they're gonna do it for a long time, they do three videos, they see how much work it is, they don't, they get 30 views and then they quit. So I don't want you to spend $300 and then you're gonna quit in six videos. I'm not being pessimistic, I'm just being realistic, okay? So don't, you know, go out and spend $300 and then quit in two weeks, okay? So start with iMovie, do it for free and do it for some videos and stuff like that. Once you realize this is something you really want to do, then you can think about, you know, getting a better software. Another thing that I do with my channel is I don't spend any money out of my pocket. All of the money that I put into my business comes from my business. I made an investment at the beginning, but once I made that investment back, I promised myself from a business aspect that I would never put any more personal money into my business because I make, well, I make a good amount for my business. So it just comes right back. So yeah, that's, that's the truth on that. Um, okay, so I really hope this video helped you guys with editing. I really honestly don't know exactly if this was helpful. I hope it helped you out. If it helped you out, please make sure that you share this video, you like, and you comment, and you subscribe. Okay, probably do the subscribe first part and then the rest after that. But you know what? Anyways, I love my tabies. See you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, that's it.